Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 46 of Going Old School. And in this one, we're going to start out by taking some PVC pipe up to Roundup, Montana. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have some explaining to do. I took out a mod. I think it was called the Walmart Transportation Mod on Steam. Anyway, I took that mod out. When I loaded in, I got the infamous, uh, there's been a game change update and... If you were on a load, we removed your load and we parked you in a safe spot. Sort of bullshit. So lo and behold, I'm in Abilene. So what I did was I fast traveled to Bozeman, which put me right here. And then I decided, well, shit, since I had to do that, let's just swap trailers too. So that's why this is yellow. Because I started back in Bozeman, but I had to drive down here to ADM to get, so that's where we're at. That said, we're gonna come out of ADM and we're gonna hang a left on 191. We're gonna take that into 90 East. And then in Billings, we could go two ways here. We could go th Montana three and over, or just do 87. I'm just going to do 87 because I don't know what this is. So, and then we're just going to follow 87 up to round up. And then this is going to be interesting. Um, because all I wrote down was in round up, take right. And then first right after the gas station. So, good luck. I guess should be interesting. That said, full disclosure. And there's still a good chance I'm going to make a mistake, but this isn't my first rodeo. It's currently like, what time is it? 1235 in the morning. And, uh, I've already recorded this episode, but I got pretty pissed off at the game, and I'm not happy with the episode, so I couldn't sleep, and here I am redoing it. That's my brain. Honestly, I'm just happy that I was able to get back to an autosave to where it actually started me here. And I also just realized in my haste to start this up, I did not turn on my head tracking, so... Mouse snap still works though, so that's good. Yeah, so anyway, um, I don't know. I mean, Would I had to redo the episode? Uh, probably not, but let's just say that for the majority of people here, they've seen my episode, so if I'm redoing an episode, it was probably needed. Wow, I'm way out here, aren't I? Yeah, the game's just pissing me off lately, and I'm still on 146, but what did it tonight, or what started it, was 
for like the past couple of weeks. I start up OBS. I start up the game. I can mess around in the game just fine. I hit record. I do my intro. I change scenes. And then as soon as I try to do something in the game, the game crashes. It will do that three times in a row. And on the fourth time, it usually works. Fourth or fifth. No clue why. I mean, the mods have nothing to do with it. If I don't have OBS running, I can screw around in the game all day long. And I've verified the OBS files, I've checked for updates, I've done all that, I've verified this, the ATS Steam files. Uh, now, something that's interesting that I did tonight, just now, is I actually fired up the game, and then I opened up OBS because I have it set on my Steam Deck, so. And I have it to where when I open it, it pops up on my second monitor up top. Which I could probably do for my Toby as well. Uh, but things are running fine right now and I don't wanna mess anything up. And why do I have this map up? Thank you. We want a Billings because we're going straight. Yeah, so I don't know what it is. It's frustrating as hell, though. Um, and quite honestly, it gives me, I guess you could call recording anxiety, if that's even a thing. But I can... I can come in the game, I can prepare for the episode, I can do all of that crap. And then when I come to sit down and record, I just get super anxious. And just cross my fingers, right? And then when the game starts crashing multiple times, then I just get pissed off. Which then makes for a shitty episode. And it honestly takes the fun out of out of the game more so than what the game does on its own. <laughs> I don't know, some people may be new here, think that I'm just a freaking weirdo. And that's fine, but I'm a truthful, honest weirdo that will tell you how it is, and I'm not going to pull any punches. Even if it's about myself or what the hell I'm going through, oh, I need this one. And you don't have your eye tracking on, Ty, so you can't, or your head tracking, I mean. The other thing that's going on in my head is uh, it's another first world problem, stupid shit I do to myself. But just to catch those people up that may or may not know. My current sim rig is a next level racing GT Elite and it's black first one I ever bought. Mental note, we need 87 North. Not like any of you can remind me or anything, but okay, stay on the road. So yeah, it was the first sim ring I bought. And uh, when I bought it, I'm like, oh, it has direct, uh, direct monitor mounts. So I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Um, 
It may have been cool for a smaller monitor and a G29 wheel that I had at the time. Not so cool for having a 49 inch super ultra wide and a direct drive wheelbase. Okay, we can slow down Ty. Uh, Stupid. Okay, Ty, don't get pissed. It's it's just how the game is. You should expect that shit. Anyway. And see, these morons over here can't even merge. So anyway, bottom line is... I realize that they have a freestanding monitor mount. Um, in carbon gray, not black. And that won't, that doesn't compute in my brain. Like, I can't have that, even though nobody sees it but me. It's just, just how I am. Bottom line is, I ordered a whole new rig. The FGT Elite. Also, not sponsored. Totally, I, I'm paying for it. Both of them. A anyway, bottom line is, stuff started rolling in. Like, my new racing seat, the new... Uh, the monitor mount, the upper monitor mount, and I'm like, oh, well, as I'm waiting for the actual rig to get here, let me go ahead and set up the monitor mount. Uh, what I found was, in preparing to set that up, is now I have to move my PC. Because my PC is sitting on a old bookshelf that I have mounted on the wall on angle brackets that are leg bolted into the studs. So I can't move that, those freestanding uprights obviously, I can't put them where I need to. Hey shit, your logistics, look at him go. So I need to move the PC, which means fixing holes in the wall, making new holes in the wall, and then I ordered more acoustic panels to match the ones I currently have in order to cover up those said holes that I'm going to be fixing. But basically, um, it's good and bad. I mean, right now, I like where the PC is because you can kind of see it more when you walk in the room, even though nobody walks in here but me and, and management, aka the wife. But some of the cables are kind of tighter than I'd like them to be. So what I'm going to have to do is move it down and over to the left so it's going to be basically centered in that freestanding monitor stand. Which will make things easier to plug in, basically. And honestly, it'll be easier to cable manage as well. I think. I'm hoping. It should be. It was a pain in the ass to do the way it is now, but yeah, so that's the type of shit I have running through my head that keeps me up because I'm uh, trying to figure all that stuff out. Wrong switch, tie. there we go.
Also, you know how that speed limit said 15 and I came rolling in at 35? Yeah. Don't, don't do that in real life. That's a, that's a quick, easy way to get told to pull around back and bring in all your paperwork. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, um, if you are new here, I'm not complaining, just explaining. As I said prior to me telling the story, completely understand first world problems. Alright, this is, that says three, okay. So that's the first exit. Man, I almost want to take that. Or not. What's going on up here? Oh, well, I can't take it anyway, even if I wanted to. Okay. AI cars. I forgot to show you too. This is the uh, Wade step deck that Pizzler's working on. I kind of wanted to take that and call an audible, but oh well. At least we have another exit we can take. took my hand off the wheel too um i meant to to thank this individual in episode 45 but and i can't think of his last name off the top of my head but his first name is adam he commented i don't know what episode it was but he said hey about your whole wheel shaking thing he had the same issue on his fan attack and it was the wheel dampening that he had to turn up, I believe. Anyway, Adam, thank you, because I did that as well and now we have no issue. fun begins and I'm not I'm serious as a damn heart attack when I tell you that I don't remember shit from the last recording other than it was shit <laughs> um, I, but I don't remember where the turns were all I know is we need to stay on 87 North. Right? Yeah, follow US 87. And round up, take right. Okay, that's gonna be, that's where we're gonna.
Okay. That's easy enough. I also considered, because as I was... Okay, don't hit that. Um, as I was trying to figure out why the game was crashing, I was looking at my game log. And I have a shit ton of errors in there. And a lot of the errors, it says like garage positions and everything. So that leads me to believe that they're Matt VT yards. Now, is that causing the crash with the OBS? Probably not. But I don't like having errors. But the problem is if I take out all those yards, I've discovered most of those in the states we've been in. So it then my number goes from 200 down to, you know, whatever. So I'm just going to keep them in, I guess. I really wasn't paying attention. I hope we're supposed to go straight still. Yeah. show you guys the load info, sorry. 51,000 pounds. I'm going to have to ask him where he got that weight, because that seems kind of heavy for PVC pipe. Although, in his defense, he is still working on this stuff, so... It's not final. Roundup left, okay. if I do. Okay, there we go. up to OBS right now. This is the first damn time I don't... My frames missed due to rendering lag and skip frames are zero. And I guarantee that's because I opened the game before I opened OBS. Because normally when you open OBS first and then open the game, there's that whole... Yeah. Anyway... interesting maybe by my brain not being able to shut off and just insisting I re-record that episode I just stumbled upon something guys I say that oh we're okay round up straight I say that until I sit down to record episode 47 and do it just like I did this one and it still crashes <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, I remember this gas station on the map. Entering Roundup. I feel like I need to go into that bar, 87 left. have a yellow. Um, excuse me, Doritos, we have it. Okay. 
Maybe it's a flashing yellow all way, I don't know. this one because there was the Newmont sign and I know it was a weird hard right yeah this is a weird hard right oh look at me go shit show logistics okay now this is gonna be First right after fuel stop or gas station, whatever the hell you want to call it. Speaking of which, I guess I should get some. I guess we may as well just slide right on in here, huh? Could you stop stuttering, game? I need to look in the, uh, I can probably do it by the dev console, but I saw somewhere, like, you know how on certain loads you have to apply the brakes and shut the truck off to get loaded? Yeah, you can shut that off. I wonder if you can do the same thing for fueling. Because I got news for y'all, especially in the wintertime. I never shut my truck off when I fueled. Oh, break time. I don't know why I'm checking this. I would assume nobody's coming down this road, but about the time I don't, there's gonna be 15 damn cars that... All right, so first right after that right here that is our whatever that business is right there on that sign Where would you want us? Oh, right there. Um, okay, I need to look at this. Right, now the safe bet. would be to pull over towards that stack of pallets and then cut it right to that stack of yellow pipe and back in. But I can tell by that space with a 53 foot trailer, that ain't gonna work. So, And can I turn around here so we get to bind side it? Yay. Speaking of yay, there's a load of hay. And yes, I'm completely aware that I'm an idiot. Yeah, I 
I thought I took that a little too tight. Let's just back up before we end up having to buy a shed. And again, I could bitch about this parking spot, but what the hell's the point? Am I gonna have to back all, or go all the way out here to get this lined up? Man, that's like a, that guy's never ending. He, he, picks up a box and it just keeps that would piss me off um okay I'm not really set up good for this I should be more over by this dude picking up the infinite boxes. So what I want to do is I want to aim the passenger side towards that box by the flashing line there. Planter box, whatever it is. Man, that's hard to see. back over this way a little bit. Plenty of room there. The problem is with this, I can't tell at what point I need to start bending this trailer into there. See, like, right there, that tells me I should be, but I still think I'm too far away. Or I'm too damn close to it, actually. Well, I did, in my defense, I did say that I didn't like that setup. Most of you want me to do this in cab, but it's, and I'm still not set up right. Wrong way, Ty. There we go. Yeah, I know most of you would prefer me to do this in cab. But I also know most of you like me to do more than one load in the episode, so... I know I've mentioned this before, but I really hate trailer physics. Like, I mean, maybe they could concentrate on more of their frickin' physics in this game since it's American Truck Simulator instead of ambient cricket sounds, you know what I mean? See how that trailer's pushing now? That's, I mean, it's not even. Now I got it all 
jacked up. Playing Austin Powers here. I don't know, after, I don't know how many damn episodes I've recorded between this and Road to 5 Million, but you'd think I'd have this shit figured out, and I still don't, so, it is where it is, we got it in there, it's green, and I don't give a shit, because you wouldn't unload pipe here anyway, how are you going to get a forklift in there? gentlemen that is roundup gone number 80 let's see if they have anything coming out of here cross your fingers great falls been there amarillo no chance in hell provo no mile city got it fort collins we don't but that's a haul raton Lewiston, Idaho, no, Sheridan, oh, Sheridan, we do not have, hold on, do we have Sheridan, something tells me we do, okay, get to Wyoming, yes, we do have Sheridan, son of a bitch, and we have Haver, so we have all of these, Awesome. What's in the freight market? Uh, you need to back out, Ty. And then go to job market. And then go to f cargo market. That's what we need. And then select roundup. Okay, wait a minute. Why? Okay, wait. That's all that's coming out of roundup is out of this place Bozeman we've been to Bozeman that's right here been to Butte been to Raton have not been to Kalispell but that's a no Mile City oh wait a minute Creek Farm that's right there but we'd have to drive down to Billings to get it. All right, well, let's go to Billings and pick that up, and hopefully I have time to do it this episode. All right, so let's hop in here. Let's hop in here. So basically, we're just reversing this because we just came through Billings, except in Billings, so we're just coming down 87. Okay, and then after Billings, when we get on this, we hang a left. I really wish I knew what this road was. Um, hang a left after the Y in Billings. I don't, I don't even know what to write down. All right, well, that was fun. Say a prayer. All right, let's do a little dead head down to Billings. Okay, game, you gonna be done stuttering? Like, what, you can't handle all these trees? What's your issue? Holy shit. That's good stuff, isn't it?
it must be these trees or something. What in the hell? Good lord. Alright, so now we need 87 south to Billings. Take this left. I don't even know what the hell I was gonna say. I was gonna say something, but I got sidetracked by the shitty ass graphics performance in this game. Okay, well, I see your solid white line there, but I don't see a stop sign. But anyway, thank you. And I'm gonna run over the curb so I don't run into you. say it must not have been important but not that anything I say is important but you know what I'm saying stop sign. Nice. Oh, I know what I was going to say. It was important. <laughs> uh, see the time? Yeah, so by the time we get down to Billings, I'm actually going to have to sleep. should have slept already, but, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to sleep right there at the gate before I, I accept the load, and I need to cross my fingers that the load's still there, or a load to Creek Farm. So thought I reset my odometer before I took off, but apparently that was in the other recording because I we did not drive 650 miles so far today, did we? I don't see how it's we. I I don't know the the time frame in this game is. This isn't the billing. Is it are we in billings now? We've gotta be. We've gotta be in North Billings. Am I going straight? 
apparently, because I just did. Oh, what's this? This looks like a Y to me, doesn't it? From an aerial view, does is that a uh, Y? Does that mean... Oh, hell. Does that... Does that mean I need to go right here? Or up there? I guess I go straight ahead. I can't really tell what that's telling me. I have no freaking clue. Maybe I take this left up here? Why are you trying to take off in first when you're not even loaded, idiot? This is probably the why. Okay. We'll just go ahead and stay in seven low. Why not? Truck route. Okay, well that's promising. stuff over there looks like it could possibly be UOP. I could look at the map again, but I don't wanna. saw that sign right there. Hot damn. I could pull up there where that guy is and sleep, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull right up to this gate. And what time is it? And we're going to go for... We'll just do zero six. Emergency brakes work. For those of you that don't know what happened there is the real or the air simulation that I'm running and the options. Apparently since my truck was running and I had my brakes applied or my foot on the brake bled down the air and when the air goes too far into the red it automatically applies your brakes like that. Anyway. Please be something to Creek Farm. We already have Glasgow. 
We already have Bozeman. We don't have Kalispell, but holy crap, that's an episode in and of itself. Um, alright, well then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do a 34 hour reset. How about that? Which means we're going to, uh, we're gonna sleep again and we're gonna get up at 05. Okay, game, we're like, bleeding all that damn air off isn't. Creek Farm, anyone? Sydney. We don't have Sydney. Oh, I thought I could select a take job, my bad. This is just as annoying in a real truck. However, by revving your truck up like that, it makes the compressor work faster, so it would it actually wouldn't last this long in real life. some interesting loads out of here. So 506. It took us two hours and 24 minutes to get loaded. With some herbicide. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So that, I apologize for a one load episode. But hey, it is what it is, and sometimes in real life you have to deadhead to where there's loads going to where you want to go. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 46 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.